Uh, we're profitable at this point, but uh, you know we still have the b uh, bootstrap mentality where we know what um, you know where every penny goes to. Hi, my name is Madhvi Shankar. I am the co-founder and CEO of Space Basic. Welcome to Backstage with Millionaires. Today, I would like to share my journey of how I built Space Basic with the learnings I gathered by working at startups overseas. You know, after engineering, um, I wanted to study further. I wasn't ready to get a job just straight after college. So I decided to go uh, to Australia to further my education. And um, so I left to Australia 2012 and uh, to pursue my education. And I think that's where my love for startups began. Um, I've never worked in my life before. I, you know, freshly graduated. And uh, when I went to Australia, while I was studying, the course is so flexible that it's okay for us to, you know, find a job and to, to study. And I decided I'm going to work for, for a startup. So I, I, you know, through all the uh, sites to find a job, I finally found one which called me in for an interview. And uh, I ended up, um, you know, working for this company called Wadlow. Uh, very early stage uh, startup at that point. I was probably one of the two first employees they hired. And, uh, um, you know, I joined there as an, as an intern, a front desk receptionist, really. Um, and I, it was great. And, uh, you know, the whole process and understanding of startups started there. Um, at the end of four years, we grew to a 70 people company and we were across um, Asia Pacific. And I, you know, played multiple roles. I understood so many things and so many skills, probably more than my degree taught me. And um, by the end of that, um, you know, um, I made product manager Asia Pacific, and I handled a lot of projects, and I absolutely loved it. And that's when, uh, during that phase, is when I decided that it would be great for me to also look at something of my own and start something, but um, I didn't know what it was. And I was you know, starting to look for options and opportunities. And um, I was on a work trip to the US and I was introduced to my co-founder. I Googled her and I was like, wow, I have to meet her. Um, and I, I wrote to her, got a meeting with her. This meeting was more of a casual meeting. I was just wanted her advice on what to do and how to do. And um, it kind of ended up um, to a couple of more brainstorming meetings. And at the end of it, um, you know, by the end of that week, we had a um, um, you know, draft business plan ready to go. And that's how uh, you know, the story of Space Basic really began. And uh, the one thing we had in common was we both are of Indian origin and we wanted to give back to our, our country because we have seen um, countries overseas and we have seen, we've been here and lived here for most of our lives as well. And we see that there's a little bit of a lag in terms of technology and adoption here. I mean, look, I've been, I've been overseas for most of my adult life and even as a student. Um, and it's very, very clear after a point you understand, you're able to clearly draw, draw differences between as a student, what is available to you, you in, uh, let's say Australia in my case and what, is available, what was available to me back when I was studying here in India. And I felt very strongly about that space. And, um, you know, just things like basic communication, let's say, for example, you know, everything was so manually driven, everything was so verbal. Um, but when I, was, when I was overseas, it was very, um, you know, curated in terms of use of technology. Um, so that's something I wanted to bring to our, um, you know, our generation and our students uh, who, to kind of be able to um, experience that. And that's where we started. And when I came back to India, and that was our initial idea to kind of work with, uh, with the student segment as well as maybe with the independent um, housing segment. I think one thing that we did right and we did really well in the beginning to start off with is, uh, is market research. Um, I would have spoken to at least 50, 60 colleges of different sizes, at least about 120 students, um, a lot of independent housing owners as well, student housing owners as well, to kind of understand, you know, what are we trying to solve and will they pay money for it is the bigger question, right? And um, we ended up signing, we ended up signing three um, pilot users that year. Um, all of the three of them were colleges. So 2017, but we had a, a pilot 
uh, ready to go amongst the three colleges with about three and a half thousand students. And um, so Space Basic is heavily customer feedback driven and we're very, very proud of it. Um, because today um, the product is evolved and still evolving purely based on customer feedback. And um, you know, in, in 17 we had 3,000 user, 3, users from three colleges and who are still our fully paying customers today, two years later. And um, that's how you know we started off. So you know, if, if I have to put put a, a definition to what we do, Space Basic is a communication and a collaboration tool, which now is predominantly used in student housing communities. Uh, student housing in India is on the rise, um, you know, and it, it's something that um, we read about so often, especially now in the in the startup space. Um, and this is something, you know, we were a little early back in 2017, but we definitely see that catch up and catch up real rapidly. And um, we are, we thought that was niche, but uh, I mean, you know, that space for us fits in perfectly. So I think we found our product market fit because of our due diligence carried out over the last, um, you know, initially when we started and, and to, till date as well. So having worked for um, you know a, a early stage startup um, so early, you know so early on in my career um, back in Australia, I feel was the reason why um, you know I started Space Basic, and I carry a lot of the learnings from my experience there through the through the company here today as well, and in terms of people, in terms of clients, in terms of scale, and everything uh, that I know of or that I've learned. Um, you know, when I was in Australia, I think some of the some of the learnings predominantly that stand out for me is definitely um, in terms of, of of people and culture. I think, uh, and I think there was a little bit of a change here as well, which I had to adapt to because um, you know working overseas is is slightly more different compared to working here uh, in India in terms of hiring or in terms of expectations, etc. So I feel like um, you know that is more culturally driven. And um, I think India is evolving to, to get there, uh, you know, in terms, of, uh, in terms of quality and in terms of, of, of just um, experience and exposure. But some of our biggest learnings has definitely been around the lines of hiring. I've also worked with small teams uh, in the past and uh, in, in, in my previous job. And we were a team of five people who are handling multi-million dollar projects. Um, we had an outsourced team as well who worked on the tech. Um, so that, that taught me that you don't necessarily need to have a mammoth of a team to get job done. You know, it's just a very strategic, smaller team because the smaller the team, the better control and the better focus um, we have uh, to collaborate and to communicate. Um, and I think that's one, one, that's one thing that um, we followed very, very um, you know, consciously here at Space Basic as well. Um, because we're also bootstrapped, which is we were, uh, we still are, uh, we're profitable at this point, but uh, you know, we still have the uh, bootstrap mentality where we know, what, um, you know where every penny goes to. Um, and it has, there has to be ROI. There has to be an outcome for everything that we spend. I think that is very important. And that's something I've learned from my previous company, which got funded much later on, as well as from my co-founder who ran a bootstrapped company um, and raised funding much, much later on and then saw that through a successful exit. So I think these are some pointers that I've picked up to be conscious and to kind of make the best of, of, of um, you know, uh, what we have in limitation. So, um, you know, as I previously mentioned, in 2017, we were at three customers with 3,000 users. Uh, 2018, we had um, we had about 700 uh, 700% growth. Um, we kind of ended up with about 25 customers across um, maybe 25 to 27,000 uh, students. To date, we are at 120,000 users. Um, across 60 to 70 uh, customers, and um, you know we're on target to achieve our goal of 300,000 users by the end of this year. Um, I think with a little bit of fuel that we call funding, uh, we're able to kind of um, grow that rapidly and capture the market even more. Um, next year, we plan to um, you know go to different markets, just not India, but but uh, globally. 
uh, we have identified the regions we, we would like to be in and we're working towards it, but also kind of have a pan-India presence. Uh, at the moment, we are concentrated in a few pocketed areas uh, of the country, but we definitely want to kind of, um, you know, have a larger force workforce in terms of being able to reach to these regions. So that was my story of how I started Space Basic. Um, if you do know somebody who could draw some inspiration from the story, please do share it. If you have any questions or comments, do leave them behind and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching. And if you do know anybody who stays in dormitories or who could use Space Basic, do check us out at spacebasic.com. Thanks again.